Hey guys, Mr. Face Farm here again. Got another review for you. Um, today's review is going to be of Vape King's Baked Apple Tart. Alright guys, um, as with the other Vape King ones that I've done in the last couple of weeks, um, I received this from Vape King three weeks ago as part of a, um, a review. Okay, I received them for the purpose of review. And as I've said before, due to that fact, my opinion is not going to change. You've seen all my reviews, you know that I'm honest. Um, if I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it. Um, this one, just to get into it straight away, I love this juice. I really, really love this juice. Um, look, it, it came to me in this, this white and clear container, okay? As with the other baking juices I received, it's a 10 ml bottle. Um, and they pre-filled it with the uh, the juice to five mils, so it gave me another five mils to, to play around with, and also to um, to fill up with PG, VG, or nicotine if I wish, or nothing at all. You know, if you don't use nicotine in your juices, you don't have to. Um, on the on the label itself, it states that it's a zero percent VG mix originally. So the first five mils that you receive are um, there's no there's no uh, VG in there at all. It's all PG. Okay, um, it's got your directions up for use on there, the warning to keep out of reach of children, uh, the website address if you forget for some reason, um, or if you want to show it to someone else that doesn't know, they can always have a look. Oh, that's worked for me in the last few days. Um, people that have been interested to know what I'm vaping, hey, what is that? Here, have a smell. And then, oh, where can I get that from? You show them the website and obviously they write it down, or you give them a business card, all that kind of stuff. Um, nine times out of ten, you just write it down for them. Um, or email these days. Um, it's got your ingredient list, so PG, VG, artificial flavours and, um, and natural flavours. Obviously there's no VG in there, so it's PG only. Um, and storage directions. It also has a little um, nicotine um, count on the side, obviously because it was made in Australia. We can't sell nicotine over here, um, so it's got a zero milligrams of nicotine in there. I've mixed this up um, to a strength of 12 milligrams of nicotine and an 80% PG, 20% VG mix um, to a, a complete level of 10 mils. Um, guys, I'm going to get straight into this one. I'm vaping this today on my uh, 1000 mAh um, Ego T pass through with a 306 low resistance Addy and a, uh, a 306 drip tip on there as well. I uh, put a couple of drips in there before. Looks like it could take one more. As you can see, the vapor production on that's pretty good. There's still some lingering behind the camera there. Um, I, I find the vapor production within that mix great. Um, all of these juices I've received, their vapor's been fantastic. Um, with the 12 milligram um, nicotine in there, the throat hits sensational. But most importantly, when you smell this originally, and this hasn't, the smell hasn't changed over the two, the three weeks that I've had it and have been vaping it. It's sickeningly sweet shortbread. You get a real, not the smell of shortbread when it's been cooked, but shortbread um, as a dough. So you get your sugar and butter and all that kind of stuff in there, and you can, it's really quite strong. So if you're a fan of, fan of cookie dough or shortbread dough, as a lot of people are, this one, it, it smells fantastic. And that's what it smells like after you've baked it as well. But you can also get a hint of apple in there. It's like a, a really sweet green apple. I know that's a little bit contradictory because green apples usually aren't overly sweet, but that's it smells like a sweet green apple. The vapor itself, um, it tastes like shortbread. Um, not overly like shortbread, more so like apple. You really get a strong apple hit. Um, to me, that's fantastic because the shortbread's really on the exhale. We'll go through that one up again. On the inhale, you get a little bit of the shortbread if you open your mouth to, to breathe it in afterwards, which I, I do all the time just to get the full flavour out of there. Um, 
on the exhale, strong, strong taste of apple. Um, it's not overpowering. A lot of the juices that I've reviewed haven't been uh, overly powerful in their flavour. It's there, but it's not, it, it's not a massive hit in the face. In saying that, this one is definitely a lot stronger than the others that I've tasted. Maybe it might be my mixing skills. It might be the, that it's a doubler or a tripler. Um, it could just be that the, the, the juice they're using, the flavours they've mixed are fantastic. It's a good combination. Um, I personally think that's the case. I am currently using this as my, my everyday vape, my all-day vape. I switch between this and a couple of other, um, a couple of other ones that I've got, different brands. Um, but this one is just phenomenal. For a dessert vape, um, it's really, really good. This is my, my first entry into the uh, dessert vaping world and I have to tell you that I'm a convert. I only quit smoking a month and a half ago. Uh, I've gone from smoking Winfield Reds, like a pack of Winfield Reds every single day to none at all overnight. And the only thing I wanted was tobacco flavors. Don't get me wrong, I love my tobacco flavors. But um, I'm definitely a convert into the world of dessert and sweets um, with this one. I don't eat a lot of sweets or anything like that. Um, but to vape this, it is phenomenal. Really, really good. So if you, if you are looking for something like, I don't know, if you, if you sit down and vape after dinner, um, vape in the evening, vape in the morning, um, this one it really, really is good. If you've got a craving for something sweet, I find personally that this really hits it. Hits the nail on the head, really does. Um, guys, I don't really have a lot more to tell you about this one, um, apart from check it out. You'll be doing yourself an injustice if you don't check it out. Um, I'm going to put in the comments bar below and also in my end credits, as I usually do, a website link through to the website that sells this. In this case, it's www.vapeking.com.au. They are an Australian supplier if you haven't seen my other reviews of their, their juices. Um, they're based out of Sydney in New South Wales. Um, their postage is awesome. It takes about two days to get over here to Western Australia if you're a WA um, vapor. Um, their customer service, top notch. If you're on um, Aussie Vapors, Mad Bunny, he really does look after you. Um, yeah, they're great guys. They don't just sell juices either. They sell um, all your uh, vaping peripherals. So if you need drip tips, if you need atomizers, if you need uh, batteries, everything, starter kits, everything. These guys really are good. They do know their business and I can see their juices um, going in leaps and bounds in the future because really this is phenomenal. Um, a few people I've spoken to this week uh, in the process of being converted over to, to vaping from smoking and this uh, along with a couple other juices that I had in my possession at the time uh, was pretty much the turning point for them. They didn't think that they'd like it but once they tasted it the, the reaction was wow more than anything else it wasn't um, say someone going and trying a shisha for the first time where it might have been a little bit um, average. So guys, please do check this one out. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for rating and subscribing to my um, my videos, my YouTube channel. I really didn't think I'd get the amount of views that I have done in the last few weeks. Um, so for that, I do thank you. It's really, really good to have all the comments that everyone's been putting on there as well. Really, really nice. Thank you very much. Um, like I've said before, if you do have any uh, ideas for reviews, if you want me to review something in particular, please PM me um, or put it on my comments page and I'll be more than happy to try and uh, oblige that, okay? Um, guys, for this one, I'm going to give Vape King a 10 out of 10 for this, for this juice itself. I love it. Really, really love it. I can't stress that enough. Um, but guys, yeah, thank you once again. I'll have another review up for you soon. <laughs>